Hello guys, welcome back to Technopedia and today we are going to see the Beanstalk official 6.0 ROM for our Galaxy Note 2. So let's get started. Here is the cool boot animation. Let me just fast forward the boot. Okay, our device is booted now. Here is the lock screen. Let's quickly jump into the settings first. This ROM is based on 6.0 Marshmallow. As you can see, the Android version is 6.0.1. Flappy bird like game. That's cool. Here's the app drawer. Here's the camera. The camera interface is uh, tweaked in this room. Let's see. Till now it performs great. Here are some cool effects. Can choose. Okay, the camera is working fine. As you can see, the picture quality is also really good. Here are some more tweaks for the camera. As you can see, we have got different modes of shooting. Here's the dialer app. As you can see, it's also working fine. Okay, no problems with it. Here's the audio effects. It's the audio manager which we get in this room. It's the browser. This is a little bit themed according to the room, which looks really nice. As you can see, it's still the CM browser, but it's tweaked a little bit. Here's the calendar app, which we have to set up it first. Here's the calculator. Okay. Let's see what we get in the settings. Here's the kernel auditor. With this we can tweak our ROM's performance. Here are the more options for this kernel auditor. Okay. Here are the CPU options. As you can see, it's showing the current consumption of cores. The maximum frequency which we get is 1600 megahertz. So we don't get any overclocking features in this room, but it's fine. Here are the display options. Here's the three finger gesture, we can take a screenshot while uh, by swiping the three fingers on the screen. We also have option for disabling force close notifications, which is great. As we know, it's very annoying to have a force close message. We have the ambient display also. Here are the toes options. We can customize it a lot. Okay. We can change 
the entity density also let's select the bit default one here's the daydream a lot of options okay let's see what else we have got here are the themes currently it's on beanstalk theme but of course we can download more themes from the play store Here's the lock screen settings. So many options in this also. We have this cool lock screen torch feature. It will turn on the torch while screen is off. Here's the double tap to sleep. Let's see how it performs. Okay, as you can see, it performs really great. Does not wake the device, which is not useful while we have to make it sleep. Here are some mid screen shortcuts. Let's say turn it on. Here's the advanced display options. As you can see, we have got a lot of modes for the video. So many different modes. I think we need to first reboot the device. Okay, here are the battery options. You can here's the warning color. Here is the wake lock blocker, which is really a cool feature. It helps to keep the device sleep. The option for automatic battery saver. Okay, here's the status bar as you can see, it's working flawlessly. Let's see some of the apps. Here's the gallery app. Gallery hasn't changed much, but it's nice. And then see here's the screenshot which we took from the three finger gesture. Here's the music player. Okay, it's also performing well. Visualizations is also there. You can tweak the audio according to our requirements with the audio FX app, which is really nice. Okay, we have also got the lock screen visualization while well, the music is playing. That's really, really nice. The screen recorder option also which is really helpful sometimes. Okay, overall the ROM is performing great. We didn't have faced any problems with it yet. So that was it for today guys, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe to the channel.